Well, costs are way off track for the Ford government's Ontario line. New documents in show the project is going to cost taxpayers double what the premier initially promised. Now, the Ontario line is essentially the long-awaited relief subway system that Toronto has needed for so long. It's set to run from the Ontario Science Centre in the east to Ontario Place in the west. It was unveiled by Premier Ford back in 2019, and at the time, he said it would cost $10.9 billion. But new documents from Infrastructure Ontario show the price tag has now ballooned to nearly $20 billion for the 16-kilometer line. Well, at a billion dollars a kilometer, this is a very sharp price increase. And a lot of people have said to me, it looks like this project's coming off the rails. I think the government does owe Ontario an explanation, does owe this legislature an explanation as to why the costs have risen, risen so sharply. A statement from Transportation Minister Carolyn Mulroney to City News acknowledges the rising costs. It reads in part, quote, construction projects worldwide are facing economic challenges with rising inflation costs and supply chain shortages. This is not unique to the Ontario line. As this project moves forward, we will ensure that taxpayers get the best value for their money possible while continuing to deliver on much needed transit. Now, these cost overruns are happening uh, even as this project uh, looks to combine both uh, public and uh, private companies. In fact, much of the infrastructure and maintenance on the uh, Ontario line will be taken care of by private companies.